In this video, we're going to be taking a look at lead sources and some of the things that you can do. Um, we're going to go to settings and then we're going to go to contacts and then lead sources. Now, by default, if you put a lead source in here and you do not pick an, a source interface, it would be something like a magazine or a, an ad that you ran or some other process that you're doing. Um, but in addition to that, you have the ability to come up here and select that this is a web lead. And when you do that, you're going to get some additional uh, fields here. Now, what we're going to be doing is uh, walking through what these fields are for and, and how to use them. But the primary thing is, is that in most of the lead generating sites, they normally send an alert email out to sales at you know power more sales or whatever happens to be the name of your or your email address um, they'll send an email out with all of the contact and unit information in that email so what you can do then is come to lizzie and you can tell lizzie how to check the email at that email address now you can use the same email address for multiple different uh, lead sources um, so for example if you use brp and dealer spike um, you can actually use the same email address for both of them um, so what you're going to do first is you're going to tell lizzie how to check the email so we're going to go in here now currently lizzie does not support imap so you have to actually put in your pop server uh, name here and the port that you're going to be checking the email over um, but you put your username, usually it's that's your full email address, the password to log into that account, your incoming server name, the port. And then this is a very important field. Um, this is where you're going to put in the domain name that we that we are going to use to parse to figure out where the lead is coming from. So as an example, if I were getting something from brp.com, then I would just simply put brp in this source name field, and that will be enough to, to for Lizzie to know that um, that particular source is coming from brp. Um, and same thing for dealer spike. I don't have to put the full domain. I'm just going to put dealer spike in there and Lizzie will figure out that that email came from dealer spike and it will find the, the lead source over here and link everything up appropriately. So the, the details here are not really that important. It's just for your information to keep up with what this lead source is for. Um, and then currently running um, basically lets you know that you're currently that that's a currently active and running process that, that is registered to check the email so once you get that you're going to save it um, i'll select one here just to show you a, a possible example um, so this would be an email address maybe um, the, the server name the, the domain to look for um, and so once you get that set up, what's going to happen is Lizzie is then going to register that uh, email address to start checking it on a regular basis to look for leads that are coming in from the different manufacturers. So what will happen now on the front end is when a lead comes into the system, Lizzie is going to go through and look at all of your sales reps. So if you, again, we're in settings, but if we go over here to the different departments, one of the things that we can do is we go through and pick the department. So let's say I go to sales new lead or uh, sales new. I come down and pick the, the uh, manager. And over here on the right, we get a list of all the employees that are under that manager. You'll notice up here, it says web leads. So any of the employees that you want to receive web leads, all you do is check the box beside their name and that registers them to start receiving the, the emails or the leads. Now what will happen is uh, Lizzie uses a round robining process. So it, it basically looks at the last uh, sales rep that set as a web lead that hasn't received a, an email and it will give it to them. And then they go to the bottom of the list and the next guy in line will get the next one. And so it just continues to cycle through all of your sales reps automatically and assigning them to, to where they need to go. Now, what will happen when you actually receive a web lead, you'll notice, first of all, up here at the top, I have an alert. And so if I click on that alert, you'll notice over here, it's telling me that I have received a new lead 
Um, and this is the contact ID that it's actually created or attached the lead to. So if the contact record is already in the system, it'll use it. Otherwise, it'll create a new lead and link everything up to it. If you just click on this new lead, it'll bring me over here. You can see that it has automatically added an opportunity for me um, for this. It's got the initial contact here um, because they contacted us. So they, they obviously are interested in something. It's got all of their contact information here. If we click on the, the unit information, it'll give us any unit info that came through the lead. Um, so all of that, that uh, information is here. Um, now on my sales dashboard, if we go to the sales department and we clear our customer and go to our dashboard, um, all of the, those opportunities are all added in here automatically. So the, that particular lead when it came in will automatically get added to this list so that I can keep track of it and make sure that I, that I'm not missing out on anything. So um, the, the, the whole process of receiving and working that lead um, is, is basically just like all of the other uh, lead processes that we're dealing with. It's just that one automatically got generated and put in the system for you.